Oh, I like rain. Keeps the roads hey, in you. Doors. Yes, you! You got water on <laughs> the parade! I'm knackered. Oh. Oh. Freak! Hellraiser! What a dump. Looks more like a beggar's hovel than a Margrave's townhouse. Dandelion made some interesting friends. God! God! Oh, no! Footprints. Bad luck. Better. And a bottle. The wine from your birth year. It's absolutely excellent. Startling bouquet. You absolutely must try it. But afterwards, please place the bottle back where you found it. Your birth year. Could be dandelions. Or Ceres. Forty-five to twelve fifty-four. Hmm. <laughs> Satisfying click. In the next room over, I think. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Stain. Wyvern oil. Sugar, and lumps of a substance dipped in wyvern oil. Hmm. Potassium? Looks like they made the bomb here. Siri. Menge is following me. He has seized the treasure. He has dandelion. You must flee. Footsteps. Not good. Stain. Wyvern oil. Dijkstra. And Triss. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was. Have you found out who f nicked my gold? Hang on. Gotta tell me why you're here first. We agreed. If I learned anything, I'd take it to you. So we did. But I was concerned about you. Stop by to see if everything was all right. Bullshit. You don't trust me. I trust you as much as you trust me. Not at all. Believe me, it's a healthy relationship. Gentlemen, really feel privileged to witness your battle of wits. But try to remember, unlike you, I put my life at risk every time I venture out into the streets. Did the same just coming here. So I beg you, can we get to the point? Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. 
Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Hankel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist, so... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. All right, I lied, but only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle, maidens who are half fish, but you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menga has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menga spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit, ask where he's holding my gold for me. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. Dijkstra doesn't need to know about my love life. Wise. I'd never choose his shoulder to cry on either. But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right. See you then. And thanks. Fire, guide me. I implore. Uh, you wait! Step back! I'm no warrior. Help! Anyone help? Easy now. Not in the habit of murdering priests in need. No priest. I'm a deacon. Just two months out of seminary. On my first mission. It, it wouldn't be right to kill a deacon on his first mission. Oh my, your eyes! Yellow and those pupils. I have read about this! You're a witcher! Well, clearly no feral cat or grass snake, so... In point of fact, a grass snake's pupils are circular, not slitted. But never mind that. Please help me. If they breach the gate, a pestilence will be upon us. All right. 
But got a question first, priest. How's a witcher fight a plague? I misspoke. Not the plague, its source. The Devil's Pit, this mine, has long been used as a, well, a place to sequester the hopelessly sick. An isolated haven for the afflicted. A den to die in. Believe those are the words you're looking for. I'm not proud to admit it, but how else is the Scarlet Fog to be withstood? An incurable pestilence that spreads with the fury of wildfire? Sorry, no comparison. Not about to sympathize. Getting tossed in a hole, left to slowly rot and suffer? Now there's a fate I can pity. You would leave the plague-stricken to infect their kin, neighbors? They die all the same and take others with them. The church seeks to protect the unafflicted. Mm, what's done is done. Now where do I fit in? Deep within the mine lies a salt cavern haunted. Someone, that is some thing, lurks there, so ancient records show. A spirit that breeds pestilence and whispers in the dark. Alas, a band of deserters has seized the pit. They butchered the afflicted. I was sent to urge their departure. Should they force open the mine's gate, descend into its depths? We'll have more than just Catriona to stop. Let me guess, your warning, deserters didn't take it to heart? If only, they slew my retinue. I alone escaped. Please, you must help. I've coin to offer. They must be dealt with, the bandits and this, this vile spirit. Could be this calls for a witcher, but I'll need more to go on. This spirit, been in the mine long? Anyone actually seen it? I've seen but some of the records. Above my station, you see. As I recall, it appeared long past, after the first plague victims were brought here. The church attempted once to exorcise the ghost, but, well, I'd like to see for myself what came of it. Not exactly generous with details, were they? No. Our wards recently reported hearing whispers in the night. Pleas for mercy, but ghostly. Strange. Altogether frightening. I'm afraid that's all I know. Stakes are high. Can't deny it. Hope we can agree on a fair reward. Well. So long as you see what I have now as fair. A reasonable request, but not one I can afford, alas. Very well agreed. I'll need to take some from my own purse, but I believe you're worth it. So be it. I'll help. And you wait for me here, coin in hand. Of course. Under the circumstances, I can't imagine how it might be better spent. Ah, the key. It unlocks the gate to the mine. Eternal fire guide you, Witcher. Yeah, knock yourself out, Eternal Fire. Farewell. Priest's escort. Cuts and punctures. Swords at work. Deserters. Let's dance. What the fuck?
as it should have. Damn it. Recipe brewed with celandine. Hmm. Should look for the places mentioned. Please help me. Hmm. Sounds sincere enough. Can't be too sure, though. Could be a trap. Humming. Better investigate. Wolf school insignia. Old. Very old. Long dry. Hemorrhaging fever of some sort. Kira's <coughs> lamp ought to prove really handy here. Not that way. Won't find me there. energy emanating from these bones. Spectre's doing.
Hmm, interesting. Dried blood and mucus. Victims of the Scarlet Fog. Gotta be. Walls are scarred. Human fingernails. The sick wanted out badly. this. Who are you? Witchers came here. School of the Wolf.
Was Reynold a witcher? Something's not right. Medallion seething. That stench. Damn it. What are you, Phil? Rebelled, then paid dearly for it. Signs of torture. Hammer, blood. Like they drove nails into them.
Sovereign spirit, Selendine. Contents of chest. Must mean this chest. Got some Selendine on me. Good thing. Other ingredients seem in decent condition. Reynolds' own recipe looks like. Worth a try. You're deaf? Turn back! Control! Hurry! Reynold? Yes, but... My strength... Fading... The spirit... Taking control... I trapped us in here... The salt... Wondrous... Understand? Can't escape. Hmm. Let it into an apotropaic chamber organically carved into salt. Perfect for a specter. Clever. But I... I feel it in me, still. So long now. Uh, help me, brother. Give me the potion. To expel it, at last. Been down here a while. Have any idea how long? Years. Decades. Time stands still here. Nothing ever changes, brother. Nothing. Longer than that, Reynold. Lots. Gotta understand, you should be dead by now, right? 
Only thing keeping your body alive is the miasma. All the more reason to end this. You can do that. The potion. Please. Found your letters to Lambert. Was sorry to read he betrayed you. Can't help thinking the miasma would have bowed before the strength of two witchers. I was a fool, but what's past is past. Lambert, the snake, never deserved my trust. I'll be sure to pass the message along when I see him. Though your friend, believe Osmond was his name. You dare mock me? No. Just got the sneaking suspicion I'm not talking to Reynold right now. Not half bad, your ruse. But don't take me for a fool. But don't you understand? It will take control of me. It will kill you and all those you... you... No! Destroy it! Drink the potion! Finish what I... what I started! I will, Reynold. Just hold on a little longer. Ah. Not about to let me beat this mine. Oh, but I will. You are the weaker witcher. Invade your mind! Now to deal with the miasma.
died centuries ago. Body didn't decompose, though. Likely slowed by the miasmal. Strange. Never seen armor like this before. And the medallion. A wolf's head, but flat. Uh, Osman finally sent someone. Seems the gods remember this damned veil after all. And you... You have my thanks. Can't believe it's gone. There were moments when I didn't know if I was me or the miasmal. Maybe I was both. Maybe neither. No need for thanks. Should mention, though, wasn't Osmond who sent me. Priest of the Eternal Fire did. Who are you exactly? Got a wolf's head medallion, but it's strange. Looks nothing like mine. Strange how? Designed and forged it myself. Like all witchers at Care Morin. Quite the craftsman. Not me, though. Got mine from my mentor. Like all witchers at Care Morin do. Must have been different in your day. Speaking of... When exactly did you arrive here in this mine? Hmm. It was... 970... Or no, 80. I... I can't recall. Damn memories are foggy. Fractured. Reynold, that's more than 300 years past. 300? No. No! They'd have sent another to find me after five. Ten at most. Osmond himself would have come. Shit. I'm sorry. My asthma got lucky you showed, not some mere mortal. Witcher's immunity meant it could possess you without destroying your body. A cruel irony. I had to focus all my strength to prevent it from escaping. Till I locked us in this prison of salt, that is. Before that, it possessed the sick. Quickly corrupted. Deformed them. Turned them into the undying dead. Feral and mindless. All those voices, torches, wasn't you, was it? You gotta ask. The miasmal aimed to lure you here. I was too weak to even notice your presence. At least at first. How'd it happen that you came to be trapped with the miasmal? Those cultists hired me to expel it. First sign I might become possessed, though. They panicked. Sealed me in here without a second thought. Could have sent an exorcist, or, or called for another witcher, anything. And those poor souls whose bones litter the mine, all forsaken for the glory of the eternal fire. Mm hmm. I saw. My asthma tried to impersonate a witcher earlier. You the real, Reynold? How can I be sure? Ask me something only a wolf could know. Come on, let's get this over with. Sure you're from the school of the wolf? Your armor. Can't say there's no resemblance, but the color? Studs, vertical stripes? Back at Kaer Morin, they'd always toss gear my way. Whatever you touch turns to gold, they'd say. This particular suit, I refined on the path. It's supposed to be a prototype for the whole school. Till my time ran out. On your own? No workshop? Missed your calling, sounds like. Could have made a name for yourself as a fine armorer. Or at least a tailor. Osmond had ideas of his own, for improvements. 
scribbled them down. We were going to discuss them when we met at Kermoran. I'd like to believe you, really. Got any proof? Search my corpse. Left-hand pocket of the tunic. Diagrams are there. And yours to keep. You're free of the Spectre, but you seem agitated. Need to make sure you'll find lasting peace. <laughs> mean to prevent me from becoming what we hunt. Well, still got a matter I need to settle. Be a brother. Help me. Then I'll find peace. Could also cremate your body on a pyre, as the Guild ordains. You'd see me leave this world burdened with pain and regret. This is the fate you wish for me, Wolf Brother. A priest sent you, or so you said. Bring him here. I'd like a word. For my peace of mind. Why? Aim to have a theological debate? What'll a few words change? Let it go, Reynold. No. Aim to look him in the eyes. Ask him how his religion looks upon those who condemn a man to death and damnation. This kid? He's got no ties to the clerics who sealed you in here centuries ago. Can you offer me them in his stead? No. <laughs> Thought not. So be it. But a few words, nothing more. Your tone. Understandable, but unwarranted. No bad intentions on my part. And even if there were, you'd be here to protect him, right? Fine. I'll get you the priest. I failed to fathom! How could they let this happen? The bodies, the blood, so much blood. I... I, I had no idea. Ray... Reynold... I know of the horror you suffered. I thought perhaps I could help. But how does one make amends for such a tragedy? A humble deacon like me. Deacon, hierarch, you're all the same. Eternal fire accepts two types into their fold. Criminals and hypocrites. Found the remains of a priest down here. Clearly chose to stay. Didn't abandon the sick in their time of need. Is he a criminal? A hypocrite? Mm, and who sealed him inside? Ghouls? Trolls? To red miasmo itself? No. The very same church of the eternal fucking fire. Look at him. He's a child. What crimes has he committed? Forgot the verse of a hymn? Snuck a sweet roll while fasting? Believing the word of hypocrites, his sole transgression. As, as the prior says, he says, Oh, confound it. I've hung on their every word my whole life, but, but now, knowing of this travesty. The church must protect the weak. Foster hope. Yet what I've witnessed here is... What shall I do? Where shall I go? Fantastic. A crisis of faith. You just weak? Or is this real regret? Truths you've learned here. What do you do with them? You're a hero. 
prevented a catastrophe. Time to come to terms with your fate. What do you want? What do you need to do that? Ha! A hero. Used to care about the greater good. Young. Ambitious. The will to fight burns strong in me. Now... Now I'm just tired. Don't have the strength, no desire, to philosophize. And I won't rejoice about the world's salvation. Time took that from me. You may lack the will to fight, but I know one who doesn't. Don't need a church of your back to do good. Can do that on your own. Aye, true. So right, which, uh, witches. I shan't be returning to Novigrad. I'll stay here, transform this place, create a haven for the afflicted, true to its name. I enrolled at the seminary to serve folk, not the church. What am I doing? Resisted or read my asthma for centuries, damn it. Now I can't find the strength to forgive this boy. As if hatred kept me sane all these years. Maybe it did, but that was then. What matters is your choice now. Your sacrifice was not in vain, sir. The church is my home no more. This tomb I will transform into a sanctuary for the living, dedicated in your name, good witcher. Made a difference here, Reynold. For him and many more. Ha. <laughs> I'm sure another name would suit it better. I'm no saint, no miracle worker. Just a witcher. And I'd rather it stayed that way. We're done here. Time we were on our way. By the eternal fire! I must think! No! I know what I must do. Yet, to cast aside these twenty years, what I learned of the world... Here! Your reward, Witcher. Give my thanks for, uh, uh, for your help. Might not need to cast it all aside, not entirely. There was wisdom in some of what you recited. Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps I've yet to find the Eternal Fire's true light. Perhaps I must seek it elsewhere. Farewell, former Deacon. And good luck with your search. Now to find Osman's scribblings, the ones Reynold mentioned. Could complete the armor then. Worth a look around next time I'm at Kermor. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and spackle? I mean, it's a damned fortress. 
High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Ah, uh, Triss. Sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. What about the treasure? If we learn anything, great. If not... Thought you need coin from Dijkstra to help the other mages. True, I do. Lots of ways to get gold, though. It's just not the most important thing now. Still got a bad feeling about this, but tough. Let's go. Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to, all right? Hmm, all right. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold? Come in then. Well, well. Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you- Shut your gob, ginger whore! And you spit it out! Where's Isleheart? Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by. With my friend Marigold. 
Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Every sinner will burn an eternal fire. Burned all the easy to find witches already. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get. You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. Don't you worry. Menger will give you your coin, and Merigold will get what she deserves. Do what you want. Come on, witch. Show you the wonders a pair of pliers can work. You'd be surprised. I believe I told you not to let anyone in. Unless they had information concerning Philippa Isleheart. This witcher says he's got just that. Anyone can climb that. We'll start with your pinky nail. Nah, let's go for your ring finger. This little piggy went to market. But it's not that easy to bring us Triss Merigold. Is that who I hear? Very well. I'll go see her shortly. But first, let us talk. Sit. Sit. Have a drink, Witcher. Not in the mood. You've two choices, Witcher. Drink or die. Sidarian. A 1261 vintage. Year of the Massacre of Sintra. Ah, stop squirming. <laughs> this little piggy went home! Kurt, please see why Miss Merigold squeals so convincingly. Perhaps she needs something. Hot irons, for instance. Speaking of metal, this goblet's silver. Making sure I'm not a Doppler. Ah, oh, it's immediately apparent. A professional. I find that refreshing. But to answer your question, one can never be too careful. You'd be surprised how many come here turn to rancid jelly as soon as they grip the goblet. Still haven't paid me for the witch, yet your hunters are already torturing her. What of it? You're damaging goods you haven't paid for yet. This little piggy had roast beef. Oh, you bastard. No. This little piggy had none. Don't worry, you shan't leave empty-handed. I shall pay you twice the usual reward for Merigold. Awfully generous. Why? Well, you've turned in your lover. The emotional trauma it must entail. You deserve compensation. You seem well informed. So you have to know Triss betrayed me first. Used me as a pawn in the Lodge's game. 
As I see it, she's getting what she deserves. No. No more. I can't. Be brave, dear. Just one more fingernail, and we'll move on to the other hand. This little piggy went, wee, wee, wee. Ow! Oh, bitch bit me. Oh, the bitch bites. Let's put a collar on her. Dimeritium ought to calm her down. You surprise me, Geralt. Perhaps we can deal after all. So, you know something about Philippa, but I wager you won't share this information for free. What do you want in return? It's simple. Free Dandelion. A degenerate bard for information about Philippa. Tempting offer, I admit, but I must say no. You see, I've a magnificent execution plan for Dandelion in Oxenford. A breaking wheel, flaying alive, and so forth. It should work wonders for the mores of the academic youth and townsfolk. When's this morally instructive spectacle due to take place? When I issue the order, in person, Dandelion will remain in the dungeons beneath Temple Isle until then. So sorry I cannot be of help. Perhaps we can agree different terms. But first, let's see how Miss Marigold fears it. It's grown suspiciously quiet in there. Come. I should tend to your wounds. No need. I'm fine. Well, mostly fine. Should heal in time for my wedding. Sorry. Should have gotten you out sooner. Don't apologize. I knew what I was signing up for. How do I say this? That was just a bit premature. What do you mean? Manga said Dandelion's locked up on Temple Isle. Dungeon right under the temple. He was planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. Also said they'd only let Dandelion out of his cell once Menga gave the order. In person. Shit. I'm sorry, Geralt. I should have thought it through, but when I saw him, I... After what they subjected you to, no need to explain. He... he'd never have agreed to help us. Even if I... I know. Let's not dwell on this. We should think about what to do next. Dandelion's safe for now, though out of reach. We don't stand a chance of breaking him out. Temple Isle's impregnable. And Menga's not likely to order his transfer, or anyone's for that matter. Let's search his corpse. Right. Could find something that'll help us. Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait. Something sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here. Give it to Dijkstra with my regards. Saw Menga burn a sheet of paper right before we came in here. Could have been something on it that would have helped us. Ah, too late now. So there's no way you could recover the note? Sadly, no. I'm a sorceress, not a miracle worker. Could you revive him? Maybe. If I actually practiced black magic. Haven't sunken that low just yet. Nothing but dead ends. 
We'll need to make do. Breaking Dandelion out starting to look like our last option. Geralt, you know me. I'm all for finding solutions. I don't give up easily. But in this case, there's no hope. Not a shred. No one escapes the dungeons beneath the temple. And no one's ever been broken out. Anyone actually tried? They've tried, Geralt. I've tried, to be exact. Shortly before you arrived, it almost cost me my life. Menga's the only one who could have ordered Dandelion's release. Yes. Or someone who looks exactly like him. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Bybervelt impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there is one other thing I wanted to talk about, but not here, not now. Come by when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right, we need to get out of here. Well? This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Agreed. We've left too much evidence. Yeah, but I also need to blow off some steam. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm -hmm. Not about to use the teleport though. See you, Triss. Mr. Reuven wants a word. Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will. Soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Didn't see it anywhere, and 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. A vault that I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. That's all you're gonna say? No wry remark. No scintillating joke. <laughs> you want a knee slapper? Fine, I'll tell you one. Ready? You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure. 
So stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now, time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. Don't bother. I know what happened to Dandelion. Then take my coin. I always pay my debts, even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Yes. Who are you here for? Triss. Told her from the start. No men, no pets. Tis a decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Geralt, I've got a problem. Can we talk? Yes, Geralt? See, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Feel all right? Hmm, so-so. Why do you ask? When you slit Menga's throat, and then... You were fierce. Never seen that side of you. What would you have had me do? Conjure up a cloud of butterflies? Not what I mean, and you know it. I'm a little worried how it might affect you. Well, yeah. I'd probably relive it in my dreams if I wasn't already having nightmares about mages roasting on pyres. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places where I managed to get by without your help too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbud's servant. Apparently Lady Vagelbud's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. What are you afraid of exactly? That it's a trap. On the one hand, it's an opportunity I can't afford to let slip. We need the coin. On the other... Nobody expects you to risk your life. I expect that of myself. The thing is, it used to be easier. When I didn't know what happens when the witch hunters get their hands on you. You could have escaped at any time. I know, but I was still terrified. What if they fetter me in real Dimeridium? You won't always be there to help. Who's this Ingrid Vagelbud? The Vagelbuds are one of the city's most influential families. Somewhat atypical, the women have been in charge for generations. Patricia Vagelbud's the current mater familias. Ingrid's her daughter. Know her personally? No, seen her, that's all. And I've heard rumors. She's admired in Novigrad for her business acumen, and adored for the lavish balls she throws at the family estate outside town. 
Though the balls probably serve her business interests in some way. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trap. Gotta be kidding me. He tell you to come holding a red rose? He doesn't mention flowers. But I won't refuse if you feel like giving me some. It's a fish market, Tris. Be able to get you some salted cod at best. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic. He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters. Then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there. Jerkins. Interesting. Yeah? Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Wanna talk to the letter's recipient? I gotta be present. Caution would advise- Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. Leave me be. <laughs> I'm knackered. Oh. Ah. Ah. Get him. Help me! You'll never learn. What did they want from you? I've oh, no clue. First time I've laid eyes on them. Maybe. Oh, well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on. Where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, Miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris. Works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, Miss. I. It, it just weren't what I expected since Lady Vagel, bud. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son. He's the... problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the guardsmen. But since the Hunters paid for every mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. Seems Albert needs to disappear, as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Tain't that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly, wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash. That'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts. And the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candied petals or blue roses from Nazaire. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what could prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. 
while you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Carol, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. The guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, all right? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare. Change clothes. Most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Been there before. Eliel's a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take a glance at what you got. Of course, please do. If anything chafes or pinches, I can alter it on the spot at no charge. Once I'm done, it'll feel like you're wearing nothing at all. So long. Certainly took my request to heart. Mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go?
Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, one more thing. I'll leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. <laughs>